हेलो गाइस दिस योर बॉय अली सलांकी एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वील बी क्रिएटिंग द मिंटिंग वेब ऐप फॉर योर एनएफटी कलेक्शन एंड दिस इज हाउ इट लुक्स यू कैन देन ऐड एज मेनी एनएफटीज एफ यू वांट यू कैन कनेक्ट योर वॉलेट एड्रेस आई हैव कनेक्टेड माय मेटामास्क वॉलेट यू कैन देन बाय इट एंड इट विल शो अप इन द मेटामास्क नोटिफिकेशन एंड यू कैन देन मिंट योर ओन एन so here the cost of one um, those stripes nft is uh, 4 matic so for 6 uh, it is 6 into 4 that is 24 matic and that's what it is showing over here uh, 24 matic is what it will uh, cost me to mint 6 uh, nfts uh, so this is what we'll be building and uh, deploying Uh, so for that, the first thing that you need to do is clone and download the code. So let me just go over to this particular website. And by the way, all the resources are down in the description box below. And one more thing that I forgot to mention is that the Stripes NFT is live. Just go over to its uh, Twitter handle, and I'm doing a NFT giveaway contest. So uh, you just have to follow these four steps. Follow the Stripes NFT. Um, Twitter account, retweet, uh, retweet this tweet, uh, tag three accounts, and fill this particular form so that I can airdrop you all the NFTs. By the way, if any one of you are community managers, also uh, fill this particular form, and uh, I'll try to take you all in uh, on the Stripes NFT project. So uh, let's just talk about uh, the video now. And uh, the next thing that you would have to do after coming on the GitHub repository is uh, go over there and star this repository first, and then press on code and uh, download the zip folder. So once you download the zip folder, I've already downloaded it. It would look something like uh, this. So this is the folder that I've downloaded, and it would look something like this. uh you should have a uh, visual studio code installed by now so just open that folder in visual studio code and to open it you can just press on file uh, open folder and uh, just select that folder that you had downloaded so let me just open it and um, yeah it's already open so uh the next step in the uh, thing would be uh, let me just open this yeah the next step is uh, make changes so make the required changes in the minting web app that you have downloaded so the code that we have downloaded we'll be making some changes according to the nft collection that you have so uh, in the public uh, folder we'll be making all the changes you'll have to change the logo uh, you'd have to change uh, these three logos actually this is uh, 32 into 32 pixels 192 into 192 pixels and 512 into 512 pixels just make uh, these particular logos uh, make the favicon and uh, you should be good to go other than that uh, you should go in the config uh, folder and change the images over there as well just uh, make sure you change all of these uh, three images and the gif uh, file as well so this is the gif file uh, which is coming over here so in the circle that you see it's the gif uh, file then there's the background there's this logo over here and uh, all the different things that we have uh, already included here so once you change these things uh, make sure that you're renaming it uh, properly you're not renaming bg.png as background.png or something else uh, otherwise it won't work so make sure you're re renaming them uh, properly So once you've done that, uh, the next thing that you'd have to do is uh, close this uh, images folder and go over to ABI dot JSON. Now, where will you get uh, this ABI from? So <clears throat> this ABI can be gotten from the Remix console uh, that you had used for deploying your NFTs. So here you can see that I used uh, this particular folder and uh, to deploy my uh, NFTs. and just go over to compiler make sure you're selecting the right compiler for your nft and uh, once you have done that let me just open the stripes nft uh, compile it and once you've compiled it uh, just go over to contract go down in the stripes nft uh, dot solidity and copy this abi code once you copy this and just paste it over here uh, this is where you need to paste the entire json uh, file 
and uh, yeah you should be good to go uh, this is it for the G abi dot json uh, the next thing is config.json file. So what are the changes that you need to do? Uh, by the way, this is self-explanatory. Uh, nothing fancy over here. The contract address should be over here. The contract address is just what you had deployed. So this is my contract address. If you just go over to polygonscan.com, uh, this is the particular contract address that you should have, uh, or you can even get it from here. So just copy it and uh, paste it over here. By the way, 30 NFTs have already been minted. So make sure you're minting your NFTs. Just go over to thosetypesnft.com and start minting your NFTs. And uh, yeah, let's uh, get it to the moon then. Uh, other than that, we have the scan link. So if it's etherscan, then it'll be uh, etherscan.io instead of polygonscan.com. Uh, other things will be the same. Uh, then there's network the name of the network would be ethereum for ethereum and polygon from polygon uh, symbol matic ethereum uh, it'll be eth uh, id for ethereum will be one uh, for matic it is 137 by the way this is something that you can search uh, using uh, google or something uh, just search for the network id of the uh, particular network that you're searching for so polygon network id just search it up on Google and you'll find it over there. Uh, actually, let me just show it to you. So here uh, I've already searched for Ethereum network ID. Here you can see that the network ID of Ethereum is one. Um, if you wanted for say Polygon, let me just search it. Polygon network ID, uh, see the first thing and let me just go down. Um, here you can see chain ID 137. Uh, chain ID and uh, network ID is almost the same thing. Uh, it's usually the same thing. Uh, so yeah, just uh, paste the chain ID over there and uh, you should be good to go. Uh, then there's the NFT name. Uh, here you need to add in your name. Uh, the symbol would be uh, the stripes NFT. So TS NFT, that's what I have kept. Uh, the maximum supply is something that you have already uh, defined in your uh, contract so here you had defined it uh, 992 is the max supply that I had kept so these are the number of NFTs that I'll have uh, then this is the way cost so way cost is uh, nothing but uh, how much it costs to mint one NFT so um, why is it uh, 4 into 10 raised to I think 18 or something why is it so much uh, it should be 4, right? Uh, if it's 4 ethos, it should be 4 ethos. But this is in way. So uh, I don't know if I've already talked about this, but you need to convert ether to way. And uh, you can just do that using eth-converter.com. Uh, just add in how many ethos you want it to be. So I just wanted it to be 4 ethos and uh, copy this particular way and uh, just paste it over here. So that's what I've done. And uh, then there's the display cost, which is uh, four. So uh, whatever it needs to be displayed over uh, the platform. So here you can see cost for Matic. If you would have kept 40, it will say 40 Matic. By the way, because we are on Polygon network, uh, this here uh, that you see, the cost that you see is not in ETH, it's in Matic. It won't be in ETH, it'll be only in Matic. If you deploy it on Ethereum network, it'll be in ETH. Just remember that before you uh, price your NFTs. Uh, the next thing is gas limit. Don't change this. Uh, then there's marketplace. So uh, wherever you have deployed it, uh, I want to deploy it on OpenSea. I want people to sell it and buy it on OpenSea. That's why I've kept OpenSea over here. Then the NFT collection, you can find this link uh, by going over to OpenSea. And um, once you had deployed the uh, NFT collection, uh, and let me just go over to my collection. Just uh, go over to my profile. Uh, so here you can see that uh, I have these NFTs with me and uh, i had edited uh, the details of it all so here if you click on edit and uh, edit the collection you would see that there is an option to add in this url so this is the url that you are seeing over here as well just instead of assets it will come as 
collection just make sure that you do that uh, particular thing and uh, other things are the same then there's show background if you don't want to show it then just keep it to false so yeah you can do that so we have covered images we have covered abi.json we have covered config.json as well now there's another thing which is roadmap.pdf uh, this is a pdf file that i had uh, kept let me just show it to you so uh, if i just click on roadmap.pdf uh, this is the pdf file that i kept uh, so this is just something that uh, you can add on to uh, give people the roadmap of your nft collection uh, this is just uh, an add-on that you uh, can have uh, it's not necessary although make sure that you name it as roadmap.pdf itself and keep it inside config uh, folder which is inside public folder uh, other than that uh, i think everything is uh, pretty much uh, the same then you should uh, also change index.html file by the way uh, you have to change the title over here uh, and uh, I think that is it uh, let me just see if I have some changes on manifest.json yes we have some changes which is uh, short name should be kept uh, as your nft collections short name uh, the name would be your nft collections name whatever you have kept it and uh, yeah that's uh, probably it uh, we don't have to do anything else. By the way, you can also change the theme uh, .css file. You can change it in these colors and you will see them uh, changed on the uh, website as well. By the way, I haven't shown you how to actually run this code. So let me just show it to you. Uh, the first thing that you need to do is npm install. So this will install all the dependencies there are in this uh, particular uh, thing. So once that is done, uh, clear this out and uh, then just run npm run uh, start. So once you enter this command, it should open up a local uh, host uh, 3000 and should host your website over there. You can connect your wallet, you can do everything with it. It's just that it's hosted on a local uh, network rather than hosting it on the internet for everyone to use. So uh, yes, everyone cannot use this particular website, only you can use it from your own uh, computer. So um, yeah, uh, if you want to deploy it on a public network, we'll be doing that uh, in step three. So let me just show you step three for a second. Uh, this is a step three, which is test and publish your web app. So first uh, test it on your uh, local network before deploying it uh, on some public hosted uh, website. Uh, make sure that the roadmap is working correctly. It's showing the perfect roadmap. Uh, when you click on open, see it's opening the right uh, collection for you uh, make sure that you you can even mint your nfts uh, i will be showing you how to mint your nfts but i'll do that uh, using the stripes nft.com so i'll do that in the later part of the video but in this just uh, try to see if you can buy these nfts if it's working fine make sure that uh, when you put in two nfts to mint uh, it's actually getting multiplied by the cost and giving you the perfect number which is eight so four into eight, uh, four into two, which is eight. And uh, yeah, everything is working fine. Now we can actually talk about how to host this uh, particular website. So let's uh, get into it. Uh, the first thing is you need to get a domain. For that, I used uh, godaddy.com. Uh, you can use anything that you want. You can even use uh, a crypto domain if you want. Uh, if To buy a crypto domain, just go over to unstoppabledomains.com uh, or any other uh, crypto provider, crypto domain provider and search for your domain and buy it from there. Uh, it's I think uh, $20 on unstoppable domains. Uh, but yeah, I bought a .com domain instead. So here you can see in my products. I have already bought uh, this particular website which is the stripes nft.com uh, and then you can click on manage my domain and uh, make sure that you adding the uh, name servers so I'll uh, talk to you about the name servers as well manage DNS is where you'll have to click uh, go over to DNS records or actually uh, not DNS records go over to name servers and change these name servers so there would be some default name servers over here you need to change it to the hosting website so which is your hosting website 
now we'll be talking about that as well uh, that is actually use netlify for hosting your uh, github repository containing your web app so what is netlify netlify actually helps you to host your websites uh, without actually having to go through the hassle of updating it again and again rather once you push it over to your github repository it gets automatically updated now this is not a tutorial of netlify so i won't be deep diving into it but uh, i wanted to tell you all the tools that i've used uh, in order to uh, make this um, uh, particular web app so yeah netlify is something that i used uh, i just want you to see the uh, things that i've done so let me just log in and uh, show you the settings because that's where i uh, got stuck today so let me just show you the settings so when you try to uh, publish your website just go over to site settings and uh, build and deploy and here in uh, here you can see the base directory should be this uh, the public directory should be dash build and the build command should be npm run build these are the only things that you need to change uh, other than that it should work fine um, if there's any doubts any uh, thing that you're stuck on just go over to my uh, telegram uh, group and uh, post your doubts over there i'll try to help you out uh, as well other than that uh, you can then start uh, minting your nfts it would be hosted on your uh, particular domain that you've bought on godaddy so once you've uh, changed the name servers uh, once you've hosted it on uh, netlify it should be live on uh, the domain as well so uh, let me just show you uh, how to actually mint your nfts on the stripes nft collection so let me mint say two nfts or actually three nfts uh, let me buy it and here you can see uh, I I have gotten the mint uh, function. Uh, it is telling me to deposit 12 matic. So each uh, NFT cost me four and uh, four into three is 12 matic. So let me just confirm it. And uh, yeah, it should go through in a couple of uh, seconds. By the way, once it's done, you would also be able to see it on your OpenSea account. Uh, it is done actually. You can see there are 33 NFTs that have been minted now. There are only 30 items that is being shown. Okay, 33 items now. Um, let's search for the 30, 31 and 33 items. Okay, yeah. So 30 is over here. Uh, 31, where is 31? Uh, where is 31? 31, 32 and 33. Now the metadata of these uh, NFTs haven't been updated. So just make sure that you go over to that uh, NFT and uh, click on refresh metadata to update uh, the metadata of the NFTs um, because this is not the correct um, image for it. Uh, but yeah, everything is done. This is the token ID 31 and uh, it has been minted. It is owned by me. So yeah, you can see owned by you and uh, you can see it in your profile as well. It would be there in your profile. So let me just scroll down and uh, because its metadata is updating right now, we have just minted it. Uh, it might not be available directly on your profile page. So just wait for some time and uh, it would be available over there as well. So yeah, it is available right now. Uh, 31, 32 and 33. Um, it's over here so you can see uh, ERC 721 31 is over here 32 is also over here and 33 as well so yeah 32 and uh, this would be 33 let me just go down yeah 33 so uh, all the three are available and uh, that's how you can mint your NFTs uh, that's how you can uh, put it on uh, OpenSea and of course you can sell it as well so yeah I can uh, just press on sell and uh, sell my NFTs and uh, do all sorts of things with it just make sure when you sell it uh, don't price it lower than 0.004 because that's the flow price uh, make sure you're always uh, putting it at a higher price than that um, and yeah you can just click on complete listing and uh, it would be up there for people to buy
so uh, that's it for this video and uh, if you like this video then do press the like button do share this video with your friends and make sure to go through the resources down in the description box below uh, the entire uh, document this entire document is available over there 